We have dead horses, chief teams, and civil wars today on AYL. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. Malia and I will cycle an area where stallions ran to their deaths. Hopefully, we won't follow suit. Then come with me, Stephen Human, as I find out how a trip to a theme park and a trip to Lake Powell compare in cost when you hit the water on the cheap. Finally, Reichstein finds a state park where the past is close and the powder still packs up punch. That was alliteration. All that and a Dutch oven dish is coming your way right now on At Your Leisure. So I've been practicing for this mountain biking adventure that we're going on. You have? I have. I've been spinning. Oh, great. <laughs> Hi, welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm William Bascom. And I'm Chad Booth. And today we are at the Moab Adventure Center, one of our favorite stops when we get down into the southeastern part of the state of Utah. Yes, we're here with Todd Peterson with Moab Adventure Center. So what can we expect today? You know, you can expect a lot of great scenery and you can expect a real nice ride. That trail is fairly new. It's only been there a couple, three seasons. It's out by Dead Horse uh, Point State Park. And it's a nice beginner, may push an intermediate trail, single track. Um, it goes right along the edge of the cliffs out there. It's very scenic and you'll have a lot of fun. So what other kinds of adventures can we have here? You can raft. You can horseback ride, you can ride a mountain bike, you can hike, you can take a Hummer tour. Um, there's just a myriad of different things we offer and a lot of things that you can do through the Adventure Center. So for someone to, to enjoy the full Moab experience, they would actually need to be here for a couple of weeks. That, that's just scrappy, scratching the surface. You know, there's a lot of things to see and do here and, and definitely allow a lot, of more, a lot more time if you can. Well, Todd, it sounds like this is great, but, you know, if you keep telling us all the stuff we have to do, we're just burning a lot of daylight, and you've got all your spinning classes. Yes, I've been yeah, she's all, it's all set to go. We're going to do that right now. Why don't you check out this week's travel adventure? Looks like a great place to visit. For more, check out AYLTV.com. Now, we are at Dead Horse Point State Park. I've been looking. I've not seen one dead horse since we got in here, but it's the name anyway. This is Megan Blackwelder, a friend of ours from Goblin Valley in years past. She's been on the show before, and you are now the park manager here. Correct, yeah. Okay, got to go. tell us a little bit about the park here. What, what kind of things can you do here, aside from what we're about to take on with mountain biking? All right. Well, Dead Horse Point State Park is a beautiful park to visit. We've got amazing world-class views of the Colorado River Basin and also the big gooseneck in the Colorado River, as well as great recreational opportunities like mountain biking on the Intrepid Trail System. What can you tell us about the trail system? It opened in the spring of 2009, and um, it's three nested loops. So you can go as far as nine miles, or you could do just a short one mile. And the intermediate trail would be the 4.2 mile, the okay. Great Pyramid Loop. Wow. Yeah. So which one are we going to do? Well, let's do the nine miles. Right. Let's go for the full I'm thing. Ready. Why not? You ready? All right. Yeah. All right. And we're going to get to that in just a minute. We'll be back to uh, start our biking adventure. And when we come back, we'll also have a product review. Stay with us. You know, you can travel to the ends of the earth, and you won't get any prettier picture than that. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are inside of Dead Horse Point State Park in southern Utah on a bike tour today. It's your idea. And it has been fabulous. This, we're here with Kirsten with Rim Tours. So tell me about Rim Tours. What exactly do you guys do? We've been in Moab since 1985. And since that point, we have been offering guided bike, mountain bike tours uh, throughout this area and do everything from one day tours, such as what we're on today, um, all the way up to multi-day adventures in the back country where we head out into the wilderness behind us. That is and spectacular. It really is. It's a lot of fun to you know, experience this country. I, I do have a question. You started this in 1985. Uh, you know, a mountain bike wasn't much more than a small frame banana bike uh, that you put a riding seat on and knobby tires in 1985. Uh -huh. It's a little different now, isn't it? it Just sure in case is. you haven't been on for a while. <laughs> I was kind of surprised when I sat down on a thing and it cushed on me right off. Oh, look at this. See? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Everything's full suspension in Moab these days. So, I mean, Moab is the perfect place because we have so many rocks and hard places to ride over to check out full suspension. Well, we, got, we don't want to waste any more time just standing around. we got to ride. But uh, right now it's time to go to our trailhead adventure this week. 
I'm not exactly sure what Reese Stein has planned, but it will be good, whatever it is. For more on Reese Stein's adventure, check out AYLTV.com. Oh, yeah. Check out Malia going down the hill very slowly. <laughs> very, oh, what, very, was that? Very... what was that Kirsten taught us not to trail too closely? <laughs> ah! Actually, that is one very cool thing that they do here. Is that, you know, if you haven't been on a mountain bike in about, what, two eons? They will take the time to teach you. She's very patient. And she'll get you in the parking lot. And Kirsten is you, awesome. You know, the last bike I had had one of those big shift levers on it. You know, <laughs> and this this is all like this is kind of like Formula One race car, little flipper thingy paddles here. Do you know these bikes are their aluminum frame, they're light. Yep. The technology that goes into these things is amazing. And and of course with that technology you have to learn how to use them and so that's that's what the whole thing is that she's been doing. It really is. And even, Kirsten is she's even guys very like knowledgeable. Me. Even guys like you both are capable of learning. Very oh, good. Thanks a lot. Anytime. She has such confidence in me. Anyway, stay with us. We'll be back with more of that true leisure in just a minute. Thank you so much, Kristen. That was a fabulous bike ride. Good. It was so fun to have you out there with us. <laughs> All my Hopefully. spinning paid off. Hopefully that we did. see you again. <laughs> and of course, it uh, looks like we've got a fantastic show lined up for next week, and we are fresh out of time. So, um, how do people get in touch with Rim Tours? Well, if they want to book one of our mountain bike tours, mm -hmm. they can either do that through Love Adventure Center or contact us directly at rimtours.com. There you go. Well, we got to go. Maybe one more uh, loop around the park? Maybe. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Between the, now and the next time that we all get together, make sure that you get out with your family and friends and enjoy the great outdoors at, at your, your leisure. leisure. See you later. Hi, kitchen. The Roger B. Kitchen. The rules aren't quite so stringent, and I've got the gloves on backwards. <laughs> Her name is Malia Bass. <laughs> okay, here comes the highly technical part. I have to study. <laughs> <laughs>